sketch the graph of the equation y is equal to 5x squared minus 7x minus 6 and hence find the roots of the equation. So basically what they are asking us to do is we want to graph this first and from the graph you can find the roots or in other words uh, when would this equation become 0 for which values of x would y become 0 is what roots mean okay we'll come to that later so we want to graph this equation which is a parabola uh, and this is a quadratic equation now when you want to graph a parabola uh, a parabola has the x-intercept the y-intercept and uh, the vertex which is the turning point Okay, now I'm going to use the method called completing squares. Okay, so this is, uh, okay, so I'm going to write this like this. So y, so I'm going to set this equal to 0. Okay, so I'm going to say, okay, to solve this, I'm going to first set them equal to 0. So uh, x, y x squared minus 7x minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, so I'm solving it and this will help me to graph it. I don't want this phi as a coefficient of x squared, so I'm going to factor out phi from the whole expression. So if you factor out phi, uh, you can write this as x squared minus, this is 7 over 5x minus 6 over phi is equal to 0. So this is phi times, now I'm using completing squares, I'm going to consider this as the first term and this as the middle term. So to complete the squares, I'll write x squared minus 7 over 5x. Now, this is the first term and this is the middle term. The last term has to be the square of this, this term, which is minus 7 over 5. So the half of minus 7 over 5 is minus 7 over 10, the whole square. So I'm adding this number which is my own number, so immediately I have to take away that number. So basically what you're doing is, you're doing something and then getting rid of it. So that's fine in maths. So this this and this is nothing but zero. Minus, you have minus six over five sitting there, so you have to take care of that. Okay, so what happens, so this is phi times this becomes a perfect square. Now this is a perfect square. This three term is a perfect square trinomial. So this will become x minus 7 over 10, the whole square. Now for those who don't know how to write this, actually x comes from here and the second term com comes from here. So this is x minus 7 over 10, the whole square, minus negative 7 over 10 the whole square is positive so this is minus 49 over 100 and this so let me write 6 over 5 as it is equal to 0 so this is 5 times this is x minus 7 over 10 the whole square minus 49 over 100 I want to write this as a hundred so Phi goes in 100 how many times? So phi goes in 120 times. I'll multiply this by 20. So to also multiply this by 20. So this becomes minus 120 over 100 equal to 0. So this is phi times x minus 7 over 10 the whole squared. Uh, this is minus 169 over 100 so I so this I call if you watched my previous video I call this the vertex form from this I can write the vertex so I'll come to that later okay and this is this is is the uh, y-intercept form so let me talk about y-intercept so y-intercept is when x is equal to 0 you can get x y intercept when x is equal to 0. So if you set this equal to 0, so this will become 0, this will become 0. So y intercept is y is equal to negative 6. So just like that, by looking at the equation, the equation directly tells me the y intercept. The y intercept has to be or is negative 6. We'll confirm this on a calculator later on. So let me talk about this now. 
to find the y intercept as I call this is the y intercept let me expand this uh, okay I'll do I'll talk okay let me do it let me finish it off I'll do it sideways where I want to do the next working here so if you want to find the y intercept let me distribute this phi to this bracket and this so this is phi times x minus I'm writing 0 0.7 the whole squared minus phi times 169 over 100 so let me use a calculator so mm, menu run so I don't want to use my brain so 169 ABC 100 times phi is 169 out of 20 okay or you can use without the calculator you can do it without the calculator so this is the dividing the multiply phi times 100 is uh, 120th so 169 over 20 and use a calculator so this if you change this as a decimal this is 8 point this is fraction to decimal so this is 8.45 so as a decimal I can write this expression like phi times x minus 0 0.7 the whole squared minus 8.45 now let me stop here let me talk about this form this is called a vertex form so from this form I can say the basic parabola see all parabolas are transformation of the basic parabola y is equal to x squared so this is the basic when I talk about basic parabola I'm talking about y is equal to x squared so this what this is called the basic parabola or the original parabola all parabolas are transformation of this so by looking at this I can say the basic parabola y is equal to x squared has been stretched okay has been pulled phi times so this phi tells me this has been pulled phi times I'll show this in a graphical way later on this is pulled phi times this minus 0.7 means it has gone 0.7 to the right and minus 8.45 means then it went 8.45 down so from that I can say that the vertex V for vertex is this stretch factor doesn't affect the uh, doesn't uh, affect the moving right or left so so it, the vertex is 0 0.7 and minus 8.45 I'll confirm we'll confirm this on a calculator later on so this is your vertex or you can write M here which is the minimum this will be the minimum okay so let us move on so now this is uh, now using difference of two squares so I can write this is x minus 0 0.7 the whole squared minus this is 13 over 10 169 is square of 13 so this is 13 over 10 the whole squared so this is 5 times x minus 0 0.7 the whole squared minus 1.3 the whole squared now difference of two squares okay so this is five times let me scroll up this is five times x minus 0 0.7 time minus 1.3 times x minus 0 0.7 plus 1.3 equal to zero so this is five times x minus this is how much points negative 0 0.7 take away 1.3 is minus 2 and this is x plus 0 0.6 is equal to 0 now you can divide both side by 5 so the x intercepts are 2 or x is equal to negative 0 0.6 so this is the x intercepts or also the roots so we can call this is nothing but the x-intercept or also the solution or the roots so these are the x-intercept and this is also the roots okay uh, so let us graph this this is only a sketch of the graph so this is my y-axis and this is my x-axis so this is your y-axis this is my x-axis and this is a parabola 
so let me make as okay so your roots which are these are your roots so let me use a red color so this is it's not drawn to scale again so this is minus 0 0.6 and this is your 2 your what's your y-intercept your y-intercept is negative 6 the y-intercept is this point is negative 6 and this vertex is uh, your vertex was what I forgot 0 0.7 0 0.7 minus 8.45 you can also draw the line of symmetry so this is your line of symmetry if you want to draw a line of symmetry so this line is called the line of symmetry so this line if you want to call this is 0 point this is 0 0.7 on the <coughs> x-axis so this line of symmetry is nothing but x is equal to 0 0.7 okay now let us check this on the calculator so there's okay the equation we had so let me let us go to graph okay let us delete it the equation that we had is 5 x squared minus 7 x minus 6 and see how it looks like so this is your graph okay so I told you so let me draw also the graph of y is equal to x squared okay so this is your graph of y is equal to x squared okay now this is your y is equal to x squared that has been stretched five times okay and it has gone 0 0.6 0 0.7 to the right and it has gone down 8.45 so let me delete this equation first to find to confirm our answers so g solve first the roots negative 0 0.6 and 2 then the y intercept you press f4 you get negative 6 and then g solve and the minimum so that is 0 0.7 minus 8.45